closing. Hello everyone, this is Serenities here, and I've got another gameplay commentary for you today. I um, hope everyone is well, and I just want to thank everyone again for rating and commenting. It's really nice to read all your input, and um, I appreciate it a lot more than you know. So, um, Here today we're hitting it up on Sword Base, um, and I like this gameplay because I did a lot of smart um, decisions. And I just want to share with you um, what I was thinking when I was um, making these decisions. So at the start here you can see that um, Dreadmoor's putting some good pressure on and um, he's the main slayer um, in this game for the red team so my strategy was to keep him back and suppress him at all costs so you notice I shoot him first here a um, bit of a bad decision not to look across the bridge first um, a good snipe by the red team there to take me out so awareness could have been improved there a nice clean up kill um, pretty good and just looking up top now um, and where the red team is currently, um, this is my favourite spot on sword base. Um, I absolutely love that spot with the sniper. So yeah, I want to get him out of there. And at the moment I can't really put much fire on them. Um, so I just put a few shots in that guy, you never know, someone might get a nade in there or something. Um, I back off here because I know that he's throwing grenades into the event, so I'm just going to wait. Um, you should always be cautious when using this vent to put shots on the other side because if you um, make movements on the radar and um, from the other side they actually can tell that you're there um, from the snipe uh, sort of main point there so that's why I crouch because I'm, I, I want to get shots without their knowledge I managed to put some good shots here on cross but I see um, Dreadmore spawn so I back off because um, I knew he was going to throw something in there and it was a grenade launcher so pretty good decision by me there a uh, nice clean up kill on the sniper and Dreadmore again um, blocking off his exit here with the nade so I can get an easy finish up kill so it all makes sense people <laughs> now I've got a sniper to work with and I'm in my favourite spot this is where you ideally this is where you want to sit on sword base with a sniper um, if you've got a good teammate backing you up with a close range weapon you're basic you're basically untouchable here again nice body shot on Dreadmore um, smart decision by him to jump because uh, it's more likely that someone will miss you if they've got their reticle aimed in get a pretty clutch triple uh, trying to go for a montage but nah <laughs> missed the overkill ninja so I'm just gonna try and run away uh, but it didn't really happen so um, all in all, not a bad play there. I mean, the triple kill was quite huge. It broke the enemy team set up. And, you know, uh, allowed our team to regroup a bit. So, it was a nice play. Uh, again, a nice few shots there. Not going straight in, because obviously he's going to throw a grenade. Um, didn't leave my shot, so he got away. Um, but he decides to jump down on me anyway, so... <laughs> I can't complain. I don't lift here automatically, because I know Dreadmore's above, but... He gets overwhelmed by our team, so it was okay for me to push on that occasion. Um, he doesn't have anything of value, so I'm just going to check the spawns. Uh, see a couple of guys fighting here, get a clean up kill. Looking down low, getting shot by Dreadmore again. So, I obviously I go down there because I see that the um, teammate lifting up and now he's shooting me. And I get a pretty clutch no scope. Um, for my teammate, a brilliant play by my teammate to help me out there. And again, looking to regain control at the top here. Uh, <coughs> it works very well. So ideally, I'm just checking. Um, I think I there was a guy coming up, so I just took the nade launcher and ran. Um, that guy wasn't paying attention, so it was an easy kill. And just again surveying spawns, um, get taken out of scope there. So, I really like this gameplay because I thought I did quite a lot of smart decisions on my own without the help of my teammates and they just sort of played along with it. Um, and when you're playing against a good player like Dreadmore, you've always got to make sure you take him out as much as you can because keeping your main slayers back is, is a huge um, play in any Halo game. So, ideally you always want to take care of them. Uh, 
So here we're just um, not in my favourite position. But don't be afraid to um, rotate on sword base because although I like the other spot much better than this one, um, you don't want to become too predictable for the enemy team because eventually, you know, they are going to keep coming up through that lift or through shotgun spawn. So you can't stay there forever, but it's just a nice place to hold down if you've got good teammates. But ideally you want to rotate as well. Don't just stick yourself to one point. A nice awareness shot there because my teammate was shooting him. So again here looking at spawns, I can't see anyone. Paying good attention to the HUD because I know that there must be enemy teammates by my dead body teammate. So uh, realise that the enemy can't be up there but I see a red dot so I'm just not going to take that charge. I'm just going to wait. Um, it's not safe to lift. My teammates start shooting me, I'm not sure why because I've been really clutching it out but fair enough. I decide to go up anyway because I have the support of my teammates and uh, yeah, back in my sweet position so it's all good. And again uh, a good radar awareness there to notice the guy was coming up. Um, some poor no scopes but I couldn't really get my aim in so it doesn't matter. As long as I just hold the fort so that they can't get this position. Um, Whenever someone comes up here I like to just aim my reticle in and then wait for them to come around the corner and shoot them. It always works best uh, and it's always kept me alive when I've been up here so it's a huge way of um, stopping the enemy. Um, here I get plastered a bit with BMR so I'm just going to run away uh, but I think I get killed by Dreadmore from the vents. So that was a really good play from him because he observed that I was one shot and decided to go through the other way. Now again I've lost the position so it's all about rotating. Um, I'm a bit surprised Dreadmore dropped there because he saw that it was more than one of us so yeah a bit of a bad play on his part. Quite a bad play on my part here because they spawn in. Um, I should have perhaps thrown a grenade at the spawn area first. Uh, but good observation here to notice that there, if you've noticed I've changed my armor ability to jetpack now, I saw that Dreadmore grabbed the sniper, and I don't like that, so I've decided to put pressure on him with a jetpack and just spam in my DMR because it makes it very hard for a good player to snipe you like that. So, I'm just going to be an inconvenience to him. I'm not necessarily going to kill him straight away, but I just want to create blips on the radar because he'll have to keep checking it, and it might make him miss a few shots or panic. So. This is always a good thing to do, but just make sure that you don't overdo it. And whenever you use a jetpack, always try and be discreet. Don't overuse it. You know, don't believe you can fly. Just you know, <laughs> glide your way to victory. You know. <laughs> so again, using the jetpack effectively here, just creating a bit of a nuisance for the other team. Um, so they have to worry about me and shooting the other players. So it's it's a good play. It's a smart play. Um, Again, just shooting anyone that comes up. Um, it seems to work, you know. I always like this spot because it's just it feels really safe, um, especially if you've got good teammates. Because you know, pretty much untouchable. I've had several perfections where uh, Mark's had a shotgun and I've had the snipe, and we just completely troll up there. So it's all good. Um, quite a smart decision here because I knew that Dreadmore would come back he, he's not going to take a charge around the corner because he knew that I'd come that way and using my jetpack effectively there to gain a bit of height so it was hard for him to line up that shot throwing a nade there because I'm, you know, never know he might catch a one shot off guard and just looking to finish up the game here the teammate gets a good uh, shot on that guy and just you know looking to use these last sniper bullets so I see a guy going up here and I'm gonna just line my shot up and get an easy no scope and just looking to finish off the game so I think the gameplay is coming to an end um, I really hope you enjoyed this uh, gameplay commentary on sword base and I hope that some of my tips helped and uh, hopefully I do better on Soul Base. Thank you for watching, this is Serenity here, and goodbye.